The North Queensland Cowboys have ended the Parramatta Ales season in stunning fashion and booked themselves a place in the preliminary final next week with a 2,416 win in front of over 40,000 fans at ANZ Stadium. Point one. Courageous Cowboys defy critics coming in two to the match at long odds for the second week in a row. The Cowboys enjoyed the lack of expectations from fans and critics alike, and yet unbelievably have proved themselves once again. Written off against the defending premiers just last week, the Cowboys once again were seen as easy pickings for a top-four Eels side that pushed Melbourne to the limits just a week prior. However, the Cowboys have shown that in rugby league, you never quite know what you are going to get bundling another heavier fanside opponent out of the competition. They'll take on the Roosters next week for a place in the grand final, and if the past two weeks are anything to go by, the Roosters have every right to feel nervous. Point two. Au revoir semi since 2014 HES been a fan favourite, amassing a plethora of tries for the blue and gold, but tonight semi Radradra played what could be his last game in the NRL, as he now departs for French rugby. He left the Eels fans with one final highlight, scoring a 100-metre try on the back of a North Queensland kick. The try was semi's 10th try from his last five games. An incredible effort that typifies why it won't just be Eels fans that will miss watching the flying Fiji and running around in the NRL.3, JT Hu. After Jonathan Thurston succumbed to a season-ending shoulder injury in State of Origin 2, many were willing to strike out the Cowboys' premiership hopes completely, the main reason being the poor record without the future immortal. Despite the loss of Thurston, the Cowboys were able to pick up former Panther team Air Martin, and in the absence of Thurston many players have taken the leap to stand up and own the leadership role within the Cowboys team. Michael Morgan has been able to reach near career best form to steer the Cowboys ship around, forcing three goal line dropouts against the Eels, as well as nabbing a try assist and a try for himself. Back rower Ethan Lowe typified the Cowboys' spirit all night, chasing anything that moved and always keeping himself in the right place at the right time, and of course, the hulking lock Jason Taumalolo, who registered himself a standard 211 metres against a quality Eels forward pack.4. Red Hot Eels implode in the back of some impressive form profiles and an excellent showing against competition heavyweight Melbourne. Many pundits were starting to believe the Eels had what it took to do some damage in the 2017 final series. Due to qualifying for a top four finish the Eels were given a second chance following the narrow loss to the Storm. However the loss to the Cowboys sees Parramatta bundled out of the first final series since 2009 in straight sets. The pressure of the scoreboard appeared to be getting under the skin of the Eels as they began to throw forward passes and failed to complete sets within their own half, and that's all it took as the Cowboys eventually put Parramatta to the sword with a game-sealing try to Michael Morgan.5. NRL's sliding doors scenario If we cast our minds back to round 26, the Cowboys went down to the Broncos at home, and with such awarded the Dragons the opportunity to steal 8th spot and qualify for the finals at the expense of the Cowboys. The Dragons were faced with toppling an 11th-placed Bulldogs side to claim the place in the finals. In that match, the Dragons failed to perform and went down narrowly to the Bulldogs 2,620, surrendering the 8th position and allowing the Cowboys to limp into to the finals. For that, the rest is history, as the Cowboys have gone on to end the seasons of the reigning Premiers, Cronulla, as well as the fourth-placed Parramatta Eels, and will now head to a preliminary final to attempt to qualify for the 2017 NRL Grand Final.6. Race for the Premiership takes shape with North Queensland claiming the second semi-final. The preliminary finals have taken shape. The Storm will take on the Broncos at Amy Park, and the Cowboys will go head-to-head -head with the Roosters. As mentioned earlier, the Roosters could be sweating on having to verse this season's giant killers. Sharks and Eels fans will be cheering on the Roosters to take revenge against the Cowboys, as well as the Roosters being the only Sydney-based team left in the competition. We could be on track to see a repeat of the 2015 Grand Final, but such would rely on the Broncos and Cowboys toppling the Storm and Roosters who are fresh from a week off, but with the way the final series has been so far, who knows how the story goes from here. What were your takeaways? Discuss in the comments below. Want to share your opinion? Why not write for us? Previous post, previous, next post, next.